Okay, I'll, I'll let you do it in a minute. Give me a minute. Hi, everybody. Oh, I see you've got your glue stick ready. I love it. Um, if you, hold on, we're echoing. If you didn't get the um, curriculum, we are, obviously this is a free class, and we're also for this week giving you the curriculum that we're gonna be using. So if you have not gotten that curriculum yet, please email Lauren, sorry, I'm echoing. Um, Lauren.prc123 at gmail.com. Um, and then she'll just send it to you. So even if you don't have it today, you guys can still follow along and then we will be able to get it to you for tomorrow. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Karen Green. I have a school here in Tampa, Florida called The Reading Corner. And um, because of the whole coronavirus, we have also been out of school. So about four weeks ago, we decided that we were going to start virtual classes. And um, we're starting on for our kiddos at our school and then um, it just got shared. And so we have just so many people that are a part of it now. And we're just so thankful, like not thankful, we're so thrilled that this has been a blessing for you and your family. Please keep in mind that what we do, we pack a lot into an hour. So if you feel like your kids need a little break, that's probably normal. Um, we're just packing in what we would probably stretch out and put breaks in. Uh, we're packing into an hour. So if this is your first time watching one of our classes and you want to see other classes, you can go to our YouTube channel, The Reading Corner, and all of the other classes are um, on there. If you feel like this is too advanced for your child, we do have a 10.30, 11.30 class that's more geared towards a little bit lighter of a like workload. Um, and if, if you can't make that time, so it's 11.30 Eastern time, if you can't make that time, you can always go back and watch other ones. And then you can always pause. So like you could do an, you know, the, the 15 minutes that I do, the 20 minutes, and then the 20 minutes, and then the other 20 minutes. So what we basically do, I, I do a lot of phonics and like cinematic awareness and literacy stories and all that kind of stuff first. And then we go into our math and then we do handwriting and writing. So if you got the curriculum, if you are a, a subscriber to our website, this is what it's gonna look like. If you're a subscriber to our website, um, which I encourage you to do after this week, it's only $7.99 for a month or $50 for the year, you can go on and every time you go into Access Library, go to Karen's Pick of the Week. And if you download all on those, you're gonna see exactly what you're gonna need for the week. Um, but always follow me on Reading Corner Online, go into my stories, because I always explain that. So what you need for today, and then we're gonna get started, is we are going to be doing this activity. So you might wanna cut those words out at the bottom so your kids have it ready. And then we're gonna be doing this blend activity, which is kind of hard, but I'm gonna walk through it. So even if it's advanced for your child, it's okay. And then we're gonna be doing a beginning letter match. So those are the three things that you need for the first section. Um, and I didn't, oh, and then for the math portion, hmm, it's not in here. So Jen will show you what you guys need for the math portion, and then you're gonna come back, and then we're gonna do the handwriting. So let's get started, okay? The first thing we always wanna do is go through our letter sounds and movements. So I'm gonna go really fast. We play this like I say, they, you say, which means I say it and then you say it. But what's really important, you guys, is that you say the sounds you hear and you do the movement while I do it. You're gonna see after a while of doing this, you're gonna see it like really helps, okay? Let's get started. I say, I say mm. you say, I say, mm. you say, because I'm not saying it, because I want you to be saying it at home. I say, you say, I say, you say, I say, you say, I say, you say, I say, if I, you say, I say, you say, I can say, ooh. You say, I say, boop. You say, boop. May want to log mute the tier C is virtual. I don't think you're muted. That's probably why I'm echoing. Thank you. Um, the reason we do the B 
with like this is because we make a line with our mouth. So we know that the line comes first. And another trick that we use is a bee has a b -b belly. Do you see how that bee has a belly? Let's say that again. I say b, you say, I say, you say, I say, d, you say. All right, good. So we're just gonna practice a couple of those letters. We're gonna move on to our funny phonograms. If you guys haven't heard about funny phonograms, what they are is after the 26 letters of the alphabet, we have what are called funny phonograms. And they're always two letters put together to make a different sound. The reason they're funny is because they like to hide in words so we don't see them. So even if this is new to you and you might not be spelling or reading big words, you can find these in words. I guarantee if you take any of the activities we do today and you practice the looking at these, finding them in the papers, you're gonna find a lot of them. I'm gonna kind of um, like, like find them and tag them in our words as well. Every time we see a funny phonogram, we underline it, okay? So let's practice these really quick and then we're gonna move on to our activities. This is like a pirate. I say R, you say, I say A, you say, I say, you say, I say, you say, this is the newer one. I say, mm, kind of crinkle up your nose. You say, I say, two letters. You say, I say, you say, I say, e. You say, I say, er, like in first. You say, hope you're saying them. I say, oi. You say, I say, ooh, uh. You say, I say, ow, oh. You say, all right, great job. Okay, so. This is what happens, okay? Every time I come up here and I get everything ready for you guys, I have everything done, I've got the words on it, or everything's matched, then I go back downstairs and when, right when I'm about to come back up and do the activity, my activities are all a mess. Do you see this? Like I had it all done and now it's all a mess. So I'm so glad you guys are with me today because I really need some help in figuring this out. So I noticed that there's some missing words. First of all, can you see in your first sentence any um, trickster words? If you see any trickster words in that first sentence, circle them. For example, do you see the word T-H-E says the? If you see it, circle it. So I see it here. What about the word in that's a trickster word. we haven't practiced that one you guys want to circle that one okay listen that last word tree do you see a two-letter phonogram that says e i feel like i didn't practice that one with you right now you can underline it and remember if you don't have this stuff today you can just follow along with me and then tomorrow if you got it printed you can do it with us but here's my problem is I need to figure out what words make sense in this sentence. So it says, mm, bird, oh, er, like in first. You can underline that one too. Mm, bird, mm, in the tree. Hmm, let's try some. Is bird very in the tree? Does that make sense? Well, let's think about this word first. What would make sense? It might be high in the tree. So let's look at that one. I feel like, oh, you know what? I was like, this isn't working. This is the one that I think goes in there. And you guys, it's the word is. So you can cut out the word is and you can glue it in that second spot. But now we still have to figure out the first spot. Mm, bird is in the tree. Look at that reading you're doing. 
Which word do you think would make sense? Let's try this one. Look, bird is in the tree. Does that make sense? Do you see the word T-H-E says that? Do you see it on your side too? Can you find that word T-H-E says that? And guys, do you know why I know this is the right word? Because do you see how it has a capital T? And that tells me that it's at the beginning of a sentence. Do you see a two letter phonogram? We didn't go over it today. It's the one that tickles. I'm missing some of them. It says, mm. that's a hard one. And I don't like that one because it tickles. So if you have this in front of you, you can underline that TH. Let's see if our sentence makes sense now. The bird is in the tree. Thanks for all your help. Do you see how we underline? Oh, circled our two letter font or our um, trickster words and we underlined those phonograms. So even if you don't know how to read that sentence, you could still do those things. You could underline and circle. Okay, let's look at the next one. He mm, ride fast. Hmm. Well, let's think about ride fast. What do you think would make sense in between that? Ride, look at the words that you have. Do you see a word that starts with the mm sound? See it? That's the word very. Can you try that in there and see if you can make those three words make sense? Ride, very, fast. Does that make sense? It does. And I have that word, it starts with the mm sound. That's a, that's a big trickster word, you guys. That's a hard one. It stays in those trickster parties for a long time. If you don't know what trickster party is, I'll tell you guys later. He blank ride very fast. All right, look at the three words you have left over. I want you to read the sentence, try those words, can, look, or high, and see which ones you think would make sense. Out of all those three words, which one would make sense? He can ride very fast. You guys can circle the word he. You can circle the word can, because those are both trickster words. When we circle them, it means we practice them a little bit more, and then they stop tricking us, right? All right, let's see our last one. We've got two words left. We've got the word look and hide. Mm, how the kite is. Try those two words in there, look and high, and see if you can figure out which way, which way those two words belong in a sentence. Do you see a two letter phonogram in here? It's the one that says, ooh, uh. Yep, if you said, oh, oh, you're right. Look how has ow o. Look how high the height is. I see two trickster words in that sentence. Can you try to circle them? We've got the word the, and we've got the word is. All right. Now, if you don't know what a book chart is yet, if you go to our YouTube channel, The Reading Corner, and look for book chart, it's gonna explain it, and guys, you're gonna wanna know what a book chart is, because it's your way of doing all these activities and putting stickers, and then maybe getting some extra iPad time, or like ice cream, or something like that. So make sure you watch that, because I want you getting points for these activities. Let's go ahead and read these one more time. The bird is in the tree. He can ride very fast. Look how high the kite is. Goodness, you guys did so great. Okay, we've got a lot more to do. So we're gonna move through this pretty quickly. Okay, this activity is a beginning sound match. And I think it's gonna be pretty easy, but we're gonna go through it together. So if you wanna cut those out and get your glue stick, or if you don't wanna cut them out and you wanna try writing the words, the letters, that's even better, all right? The first one is a butterfly. What sound do you hear at the beginning of Butterfly, a bee, and a bee has a b -b belly. Can you find a bee? There it is. What sound do you hear thinking of frog? 
frog. Do you see an F? There it is. And if you're writing them, the B would be straight line down, come up and make a belly. You try that. Straight line down, come up and make a belly. The F would go little hook down, come up and make a dash. You try that. Little hook down, come up and make a dash. All right, let's move on. The next one is a mushroom. What sound do you hear at the beginning of mushroom? Hmm. Let's go ahead and practice writing that one. Watch me first. Short line down, come up and make a hump, come up and make a hump. You try it. Short line down, come up and make a hump, come up and make a hump. All right, great. The next one is the word sun. What sound do you hear at the beginning of sun? Yeah. The S can get kind of tricky to make. But if you think about it, if you've been practicing with us, and we practice that letter A, and we know that the A, I'm gonna put your finger up like this. And look, think about a clock, how there's a 12 o'clock and a two o'clock over here. Put your finger on that two o'clock. Now when you make an A, you go up and around, touch the bottom line, come up and make a dash. Straight line down, sorry, let's try it again. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Okay, do you see? how your letter went this way, it's the same with an S. An S is kind of like start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. Try that again. Start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. Okay, now let's try it. Start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. All right, the next one is the word leaf. What sound do you hear at the beginning of leaf? You said L. You're right. Now, you probably are thinking to yourself, oh, that's an easy one to make. But do you know, guys, most of the time you go this way when you make your tall letters, and it's really straight line down. Try that. Straight line down. All right, the next one is boots. What sound do you hear at the beginning of boots? B -b -b -b. And remember, B -b -b -b. We make a line with our mouth, so we know we have a line first, right? So here's the b -b boots, and watch how I make it. Straight line down, come up and make a belly. The last one is a rainbow. So you guys, this one will be easy, right? Because so you've got that rainbow, that R. I can't find mine, so you can stick it next to it, and then this is how we write it. Short line down, come up and make a little hook. You try it. Short line down, come up and make a little hook. Okay, it's a lot of work. This activity is kind of hard. So we're just gonna do a couple of them, but I really want you to hear how I un, like, unblend the blend. So a blend is two letters that come together, they kind of blend together to make a new sound. But you can always still hear the two sounds. Whereas in some of our two letter phonograms, you can't. So we're gonna go through this kind of slowly. I'm gonna show you a word. So pick your snail. So this is what I, all I care about you guys getting is the blend and my ending letter, okay? So watch my fingers. Mmm. Ale. What letter do you hear first in S? S? Mmm. N. O is the L. So if all you can get is those three sounds, that's great. I'm gonna add the AI in there because I know it makes the word snail. All right, let's try the next one. Cloud. All right, watch my fingers. Ooh, ow, d. What sound do you hear? It's the one that says C. O L O D D. So it's got a diaper. So I make my circle first. And because I know how to spell this word, if you want to add it, it's actually the O U. These are actually two letter phonograms, you guys, that we haven't even learned yet, okay? Let's try the next one. Brass. 
Okay, you try this one on your own. I'm gonna, I just want you to try to get the blend and the ending sound. Watch me. G er s g er s Okay, let's see if you got them. G is a G, er, and an S. Okay, because I know how to spell the word, I actually know that the S, the, the word grass, actually has two S's. Okay, just a couple more. You guys getting this? All right, this one is a drop. D, er, p. Remember that diaper? D, er, p. Okay, let's see if you got them. D, er, p. Now see if you can get that middle sound. D, er, ah. Ah, yep. Okay, let's try the next one. Frog, listen to my heat sound. Er, g. You can try that middle sound, listen. Er, ah, g. Try it. Er, ah, g. All right, let's see if you can get them. Er, Ah, good. Ah, my letters tricked me a little bit. They were a little sloppy. They were so far away. All right, let's do the next one. Gloves. Ooh, this is a hard one. Ready? G. Ooh. Mm. You can try to get all five sounds. So the two sounds you're going to hear in the middle, the first two are this. G. Ooh. You try to put those in. G. Ooh, okay, now I hear four, three more sounds. Ah, mm, s. Ah, mm, s. Let's see if you can get those sounds. Ah, mm, s. Did you get it? All right, and if you, you knew that, there's actually an E in there. These words are tricky. All right, let's try the next one. I think this one's a drink. That looks like a pretty fun drink, huh? Let's try the sounds. D, er, I, n, k. Oh, let's try those first two that are gonna go in the skinny part. D, er, d, er. Yep, remember it's a diaper. D, er. Okay, let's see if you get the next three sounds. I, Mm. Mm. See if you got them. Mm. Good job. All right. Let's try this one. And we're almost done and we're going to move to math. Let's try drum. Four sounds. Listen. D, er, a, uh, m. Mm. D, Er, ah, mm. D, er, ah, mm. Guys, these are hard words and you're doing such a great job with them. Okay, we have one more. Oh, I don't know why Miss Karen picked this one. It's such a long word. Flower. Let's try it. What sounds do you hear in those skinny ones that make the blend? Ooh. Ooh. If you know them, write them. Ooh. Er. What do you hear at the end of the word? Er. Okay. Leave some space and put that er all the way over there. Now I've heard a phonogram in there, and it says, Ow, oh, so it's flow, ow. Which of these two phonograms makes the ow sound in flow, er? This one. Okay, listen. You're going to write that out, O, W. And then what do we do to our funny phonograms? We circle them. We underline them. And then 
just so you know, there is another ER, and it actually is a funny phonogram too, so you can circle it. That was a hard one. Miss Karen picked a hard one for this. Okay, look at all this stuff you just did. We're gonna take a quick break, and we're gonna stretch, because I know you guys just did a lot of work. Every, put your hands really, really tall. Are you touching the ceiling like I am? Can't even tell, I'm touching the ceiling. Lean all the way to the left so you feel that nice stretch. Oh, lean all the way to the right, stretch. Touch your toes. Keep your head down, get all that blood going to your brain. That's what's gonna help you think. Okay, now sit up and go wiggle, 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 wiggle. You guys wiggling it out? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go to math. So everybody say, hello, Miss Jen. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we are going to use a number line to do some addition problems. But before we start, I wanna show you guys the sheet that we'll be using. So if you can, if you've already printed it out, that's great. If you can print it out real quick, that'd be awesome too. Um, it's called number line addition. And so we're going to be using that today. So you guys can either, you don't need to cut anything out today for math. You can either grab a pencil, a marker, or even a crayon, anything that you have near you to write on this paper. Okay? So what we're going to do today is, like I said, number line addition. So one of the tools that we can use in math is a number line. That can help us count, that can help us do addition like we're gonna do today, that can also help us do subtraction. So it's something that you're definitely gonna be seeing more and more in kindergarten and even in first grade and on. You're gonna see number lines to help us with math. So, like I said, we're gonna do addition. What does addition mean? Do you guys remember? I want you to think. What does addition mean? It means that we're putting two numbers together, right? To see what it makes, to see how many in all. So today, we have some problems that we're gonna be doing. So I wrote what you have on your paper, I wrote up here on the whiteboard. So it's gonna be exactly what's on your paper. So I'll tell you what number we're gonna be on and what to do, and you guys can follow along. Are we ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Are you ready? Yeah, awesome, I see double thumbs up, that's great. Okay, friends, so the first problem we have at number one is one plus two. So we wanna add one and two together. We're gonna use our number line for that, okay? So the first number is number one, so that's the number we wanna start on on our number line. So I'm gonna use a mark a uh, marker you guys like I said a crayon a marker or a pencil whatever you have handy so I'm going to start number one and I'm going to I'm going to add two we're going to pretend that our markers are froggies can we pretend that our markers are froggies and they're going to jump okay so we're going to start at one and we have to jump two spots we have to have our froggy jump two spots so I'm going to start at one so put your pencil or whatever you have to write with at number one, and we're gonna jump. <gasps> one, two. <gasps> what number do we add on? What number does our froggy land on? What number? Show me with your fingers. Show me with your fingers. What number? <gasps> three. So guess what we're gonna write in the box here? One plus two equals three. And the way we're gonna read a three is around a tree, around a tree. That's the way we make a three. Let's do it in the box. Are we ready? <gasps> around a tree, around a tree. That's the way we make a three. Good job, kiss your brains. All right, now we're gonna do number two. Is everybody on number two right now? <gasps> Our, our addition problem is two plus five. So we're gonna look at that first number, right? And we're gonna go to that number on our number line. We're gonna use our number line again. And how many jumps is our frog gonna make? How many? Show me with your fingers, how many? Five, we're gonna jump five. 
So let's start at two. So everybody find two on your number line. And we're gonna jump five spots. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. What number does our, does our frog stop on? What number? Seven. Seven. And we're going to write seven in the box. So two plus five equals seven. Across the sky and down from heaven, that's the way we make a seven. Let's do it. Ready? <gasps> Across the sky and down from heaven, that's the way we make a seven. Good job. Kiss your friends. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go on to number three. Is everybody ready? Thumbs up if you're ready for number three. Thumbs up. Good job. Okay, so we have one plus four equals. And we're gonna use our number line again. I want you guys to tell me, what number are we gonna start on? What number? Show me with your fingers. What number? Number one, I see it, I see you guys holding up number one, that's right. And we're gonna jump four spots. Our, our frog is gonna jump four spots. Ready? So we're gonna start number one. One, two, three, and four. What number did we end on? What number? Show me with your fingers. What number did we end on? What number did we get to? Five. We get to five. And the way we write a five is go down and around. Then you stop. Finish the five with a line on top. So let's read it in the box. Ready? Go down and around, then you stop. Finish the five with a line on the top. Awesome job, awesome job. Okay, now we're gonna go to number four. Okay, oh, wow, look at four is three plus three. Show me what we, from what we just learned. What number are we going to start on on our number line? Where are we going to begin on our number line? What number? Show me with your fingers. Just hold them up. What number? Three. And we're going to jump. Our frog is going to jump three times. Ready? One. Two. Froggy. Oh, I see it. I see it. Six. Awesome job. Six is correct. Now the way we make a six is roll a hoop and make a loop. Are we ready? Roll a loop and make a hoop. Very good. Good job, friends. That's our number six. Three plus three equals six. See how great it is to be able to use a math tool to help us with addition? Good job. All right, we're gonna go into number five. Our number five, ooh, we're getting to bigger numbers. Are we ready? Oh, let's see, seven plus one. What number am I going to start with? Where is my froggy gonna begin? What number is he gonna start on? Show me with your fingers. Seven, seven. And my froggy is gonna jump. Ooh, how many times? Show me with your fingers. How many times is he gonna jump? One time, I see it one time. So we're gonna start at seven, the number seven. So our froggy is gonna start right there. So put your finger on number seven. Ready, get your writing utensil out. Ready? Oh, and we're gonna jump from seven, and we're gonna go one more is, oh, what number? What number? Number eight. Good 
job. So number eight is what we're gonna write in about seven plus one equals eight. So eight, we're gonna make an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. Ready? Oh, make an S, but do not wait. Go back up and close the gate. Good job. So we're going to write seven plus one equals eight. Awesome. Kiss your brains. You guys are doing amazing. Number six is six plus three. So again, we're going to use our, our math tool, our number line. And we're going to start at what number, everybody? What number are we going to start at? We're going to start at six. So get your, get your writing tool ready. Six, we're going to do six, and we're going to go to hop over three times. Ready? We're going to hop our frog three times. One, two, three. What number did I end on? What number did my frog jump to? Number nine. Nine. So we're gonna make our nine. Six plus three equals nine. We're gonna make our nine in the box. A loop and a line that makes a nine. Ready? A loop and a line that makes a nine. Awesome job. Okay, you guys ready for number seven? Number seven is Three plus two equals. So we have to figure out what three plus two is. What number am I going to start my froggy on? What number? Remember the first number we see. What number is that? Show me with your fingers. Three. And we're going to hop our froggy over how many times? You can show me with your fingers. How many times? Two. So I'm going to start at three. So get your writing tool ready. We start at three. We're going to hop over two numbers. Ready? One. Am I done? Yes or no? Am I done? No, not yet. I got to go how many times? Two times. I only did one and two. So what number did my froggy end up stopping on? What number? Number five. Awesome. Three plus two equals five. Remember five? Go down and around, then you stop. Finish the five with a line on top. Five's awesome. Number Eight. Is everybody ready for the last one? Number eight is five plus three. Five plus three. So what number are we going to start on? What number? Show me with your fingers. What number? Number five. And we're going to hop over how many times? Three times our froggy's going to hop. Okay, so we're gonna start at five. We're gonna hop over three times. Ready? One, two, three. Five and three make what number did we end in? What number? Show me with your fingers. We stopped at eight. Eight. So we're gonna rate an eight. We wrote an eight up here already. Make an S, but do, don't wait. Go back and close the gate. That's our number eight. Awesome job, friends. I saw, I saw so many of you working so hard. Remember, a number line is a different math tool that we can use when we're doing our math problems, right? All right, so why don't we 
And why don't we count to 100 by 10? So we'll do it a little different today. So you guys can put your pencils down for right now. You can stand up if you want. And we'll count by 10s, okay? Stand up. Stand up. We'll, we'll clap first, okay? And then we'll stomp it out. So we'll count by 10s. Ready to 100, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 100. Let's stomp it out. Are you guys ready? Stomp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's count by to ten then. Ready? Let's jump. We'll count by tens and we'll jump. Ready? To 100. Ready? We'll count by tens. Ready? Jump. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome job, friends. I think Miss Karen is ready for you guys. All right. Have a great rest of the day. Bye, friends. All right, thank you, Miss Jen. I love doing number writing too. And I saw my boys Brody and Aiden, and Brody and Aiden love doing number writing. But now we're gonna switch over and we're gonna do some handwriting. Guys, can I be honest? I see you guys. I really don't like practicing handwriting. Do you like practicing handwriting? It's so hard especially when you guys are just learning how to hold a pencil and stuff like that. So your letters aren't gonna look like mine, but this is what I'm gonna tell you. If you practice a little bit of handwriting every day, in like two weeks, when you go back to what your handwriting looked like two weeks ago and you compare it, which means you have one next to the other, you are gonna be amazed at how much better your handwriting gets. And as you're practicing, you're gonna be really proud of it. So. I just wanna tell you, like, you don't have to love everything about learning. Some kids love handwriting. Miss Karen does not really like handwriting, but I do think it's important. I do think we should practice it every day, but here's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna say the letter, you're, and I'm gonna say the verbal formation, and then I'm gonna let you do it. I'm gonna say the verbal formation, like the words I use, and I'm gonna say them at the same time you guys, are doing the letter, but if you know those words, especially if you've been at our school or done our classes for the last couple of weeks, try to say them at the same time I am, okay? I want you guys to remember that we talked about that two o'clock. So what I do parents, well, actually it's really easy because you guys have the paper that has all those like C's on it. If you're ever practicing with your kids and you don't have it, I always go ahead and kind of like make these like, dots with this thing going up so that it shows the kids that they're going to start on that dot and go. All right. We're going to practice three of each letter and then we're going to do a silly jelly bean game and then we're going to do handwriting or uh, writer's workshop. Is everybody ready? It's my turn first. Listen, start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Now remember, I want you to touch that bottom line. Your turn. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. All right, my turn. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Your turn. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Okay, check your letters. Are your letters up there? Make sure the reason I say touch the bottom line because we don't want them flying. We don't want flying letters, we want them on the ground. So again, start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Now you try. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, stop. Okay, good. Circle your best one. Which one do you think you did the best? I really like my last one. That sometimes tends to happen to me because I really try hard to not make them messy. Okay, the next one's pretty easy, but what you need to practice is making sure you put it on the bottom line, okay? So it's just like the W, and we've been talking about this a lot. Here's the W. And remember the W goes down, up, down, up. Guess what? A V just goes down, up. Let's try it. Watch me. Down, up. Now pause. Notice I didn't make a really big V. I'm making it kind of short because it's a small one. You try it. 
down, up. Okay, let's do the next one. Down, up. You try it. Down, up. Good, last one. Down, up. You try it. Down, up. Awesome. My last one is my favorite one again. Circle the one that you guys like the best. Okay, the R. The R is just like an M or an N, but we just make a little hook instead of a hump. So notice like with an N, we go straight line down, come up and make a hump. You guys are just gonna make a hook, but you have to go down first. Everybody get your finger ready in the air. It goes straight line down, come up and make a hook. Now let me show you what I see sometimes is when you go straight down and then you kind of like bring it out like that. I see a lot of these R's. So when you do it, make sure you go straight down and you come right back up on that line and make a little hook, okay? Let me try one. Straight line down, come up and make a hook. Now you try it. Straight line down, come up and make a hook. Okay, my turn. Straight line down, come up and make a hook. You try it. Straight line down, come up and make a hook. Last one, make sure you're not making them sloppy. Straight line down, come up and make a hook. Oh, that was not my best. You try, do your best one. Straight line down, come up and make a hook. Okay, which one was your favorite? I think mine was the middle one this time. Okay, there's this W. The W is so easy, you guys, because we make it with our hand. But I've told you this before, I see this all the time, is you start at the bottom and then you go down, up, down, up, whoop. And that's the way you make it. So parents, because they have it in front of them, you don't need to do this, but sometimes I'll actually just put little dots so they know that we're gonna go down first. This one's super easy. Just try not to do this, you guys. Like crazy. Try to make it all the same, okay? Let me try one first, ready? Down, up, down, up. Make sure you touch that bottom line. Now you try it. Down, up, down, up. All right, great, my turn. Down, up, down, up. Now you try. Down, up, down, up. So make sure it's kind of small. We don't want it taking over the whole line, right? Let's try another one. Down, up, down, up. You try. Down, up, down, up. Okay, circle your best one. Oh man, I saved a hard one for last. Think about that C and how you really start at that two o'clock and come around. A C is almost an O because the O, you are just finishing the C. And then from an O, you can go to an A where you're making the O and making a straight line. And then from an A, you can go to a G because you're going down, around, straight line, down, hook. And a Q is just like a G, but instead of a hook, you make a, what do I say? Kick out. You make a kick out. Watch me. This one's kind of difficult, but you've got the dots right in front of you. Start at two o'clock. Touch the bottom line, don't forget that. Straight line down, kick out. So it's just a little kick out. So instead of the G making that hook, the Q makes a kick out. You try it. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down, kick out. You can even say it silly like Miss Karen does. All right, let's do another one. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down, kick out. Okay, you try it. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down, kick out. Yep, okay, one more. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down, kick out. Okay, last one. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down, kick out. I'm kinda sick of hearing myself say kick out. Okay, mine are not very pretty. I'm actually gonna take the one that I made as the sample, but you guys try to find your best one and they don't have to be perfect. This is why we practice handwriting. You guys are getting used to those muscles in your hands. They're called your fine motor muscles. So your letters aren't gonna be perfect. 
Mine are really nice usually because I've practiced a lot. So if yours don't look like mine, don't get frustrated. Okay. See, it's done. That's what I love about handwriting is it's quick. I don't want to do a ton of them. I just want to do a couple. So we're going to play a quick game and then we're going to move on to our writer's workshop. And that's where you get to just watch me and I'm going to do it. And then you can do it afterwards. Parents, I'm going to stop really quick because we've got a lot of new people on here today, which is awesome. I'm so glad that you are getting this resource. We are so thrilled to give it to you for free. The only thing we ask, please, 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 if you can take a picture of your kids doing one of our activities or watching this and tag at Reading Corner Online at Reading Corner Online. We have over 200 kids that now watch these. And so if everybody tagged and it would just get our name out there so much, that would be such a blessing for me. So I'm gonna put that in there before we get done so anybody actually listens to me. Okay, we're gonna practice a game. We're gonna play a jelly bean game. We're gonna practice sight words, but if you see a yellow jelly bean, you have to get up and jump like a jelly bean, okay? This one is four, four. So I'm gonna do the movements I do with it and you see if you can tell me it. M, Y says, my. Y, O, U says, you. B, I, G, big. Say that, B, I, G, big. G, O, go. Say that, G, O, go. <gasps> It's a yellow jelly bean, everybody get up. We're gonna jump to 10, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. <gasps> Sit down, good job. Okay, L-I-K-E, like. Oh, here's that one again. Do you remember what this says? B-I-G, big. Remember this one? G-O, go. So another one, B-I-G, big. Oh, it's a yellow jelly bean. Everybody get up, get up, get up. We're gonna count and jump to 10. Ready, are you up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, good job, sit down. Ready? G-O, go. What's this one? L-I-K-E, like. <gasps> Another one! Okay, stand up. We're gonna count to 50 by fives. So if you know how to count it, great, let's go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yes, good job. Okay, so let's get started with Writer's Workshop. If you notice, I always keep a couple trickster words on the side of my wall, because listen, I don't have time for them to trick me. And a lot of times trickster words trick us either when we're reading them or we're writing them. So I always keep some over here. And since you guys are a little bit older, I put two that typically trick people a lot. The first one is the word going. And I have a lot of my friends that like to use this word because they want to write about, I am going to Disney or I'm going to um, get ice cream. This is another one, the word R. And the reason why it's tricky is because we know that R in it, but it's got a silent E. So we can underline the AR in it, right? And then what we typically teach you is to put a double underline of the E, but we won't get too far into that. Hmm, there's not much to write about because we're all kind of stuck at home, right? But every once in a while, we try to go on like a little field trip to get something to eat. And what we've been talking about is how good writers use trickster words and they don't let big words scare them. So after we're done with this, we're gonna go and get hamburgers. That's a big word, isn't it? Hamburgers. I don't know if I can spell that word, but good writers don't let letters trick them. So I'm gonna show you name on my paper. Yep, first thing, and I've got that line too far up there. All right, so I'm not a, a really good drawer. And notice, guys, that my sketch is just pretty quick. All right, so I've got little lines in there for the people. And then this is the place. 
haven't decided where we're going yet. And the person is in here and they are so nice. And they're gonna give us, I'm gonna even make a little bag that's gonna have kind of like hamburgers in it. But that's as many details as I'm gonna put right now. When I'm done with my writing, I can go back and draw more details. And you can even ask your mom or dad to label it because I like to label everything in my writing. Okay, so this is how we do our writing. We say it, clap it, write, uh, sorry, say it, clap it, dash it, write it, all right? So parents, a lot of times what I, have fi I find is that the kids like have a lot of ideas or they talk about something in like three or four sentences, so I condense it for them. So they might be like, we're gonna go to Culver's, I wanna get a hamburger, I like to get pickles in it, I like french fries. So I say, okay, why don't we start with, we are going to Culver's. So I took all their ideas and I kind of condensed it into like a four, five, six word sentence. Then we make the lines and then I really walk them through as much support as they need as far as sounding the words out. So I'm gonna kind of show you how I would do that. So we are going to get hamburgers. Say that with me and clap it. We are going to get Hamburgers, now I know how many dashes I need. We are, what is that word? It's a trickster word, right? So what do I do to it? And if you guys are new, it's okay. You're gonna learn all of this with us. We are going. There's that really big word, you guys. Do you see it over here? G -g going Okay, I'm gonna circle it. We are going to, that's another trickster word, get hamburgers. Oh, that's such a big word. Okay, let's get started. We've got that W. W e R. Do you remember where I could find that word? It's over here. Guys, I want you to take a look at it really hard. Take a picture of it. Click. Close your eyes. Do you see that word? Okay, I see the word. So instead of looking back at it every time to get the words, I just make the letters. I make a picture in my head and then I see if I can make it. A R. A R says R. Did I miss a letter? What letter did I miss? The E, you're right. Sometimes my picture doesn't come out too clearly. So I'm gonna make sure I underline that. We are going, oh, this is such a big word. So I might chunk this word. I know some of my kids in my class, you know there's a hidden sight word inside of it. What's the hidden sight word in the, the word going? Go, G-O, go. So I know I can do that first. Go. Mm. Do you remember that two-letter phonogram that we just started that says mm. NG? Oh, this is why it's tricky because there is an I that you don't really hear inside of it. So I'm going to underline that NG. We are going to get. We are going. We are going to. T ooh. T ooh. What sound do you hear at the beginning? T -t -t -t. And this is kind of a tricky one, another trickster word, because you want to put ooh like you, but it's actually ow, o, ooh, like o. Oh. I'm gonna put the o. Get. And parents, this is where I put my fingers up, and I would just help them get as many sounds as they can. So what sounds do you hear? G, e, t, g, 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 e, e, e. E, t, t, t. awesome. We are going to get hamburgers. Ah, that's such a scary big word. Can you help me with it? Okay, I'm gonna say sounds and you just call out the sounds you hear. Ready? H, mm, M, B, 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 B. Er, R, G, G, G. Yep. And parents, this is exactly what I do when I write with the kids. I say the sounds 
And whatever sounds they hear is what they put. I don't care if it's spelled correctly. I care that it's spelled phonetically, which means they can hear the sounds and they're writing all the sounds they hear. M, b, r, g, r, s. Awesome. Man, thank you for helping me with that. And guess what? I'm not just going to put a period. I'm going to put that uh, punctuation mark that tells me I'm excited. Which one is that? The exclamation point, right? Now listen, when I'm in my classroom and I write with you guys, I always write very little underneath. I write tiny what exactly you wrote. And then I also, if I'm going to be writing for you guys like this, because I'm a teacher, I know how to write the words. And you'll be surprised that a lot of times whatever I wrote is what the kids want to write. So I want to make sure that if I write a word, I want it to be right, spelled correctly. So if they want to swipe it, they can. So we are missing a lot of those like sneaky little vowels in there. So I'm just going to write the word down here. So if you decide that you want to write about hamburgers today, you can swipe this word. All right. Are you guys tired? You did so much work today. And remember, if this one was a little too challenging, we have our 1130 class. So if you aren't on Eastern time and that's too early for you, um, you can just go watch the videos. And sometimes I think that's really great because you can pause it. Notice that we did a literacy section, a math section, and a writing section. So you could kind of pause it, give your kids like an hour break and go back to it. Or if your kids can last the whole time, awesome. Um, the only other thing is in our morning class, from 10.15 to 10.30, we have music, and it's amazing. So even if you're going to hop back on this, and you, if you remember at 10.15, hop onto the Zoom, watch our music. It's going to make get you all in a good mood. Miss Angie's awesome. But we will see you guys tomorrow. So you can either join our morning class, you can join our afternoon class, or you can join both of them because I do different things with all of them. If you have any questions, message me. Please make sure that you tag at Reading Corner online and we'll see you guys tomorrow.